For this lesson, I'm going to discuss the switchboard. And the switchboard is this whole screen. And over on the left is a series of buttons. And think of these buttons as file cabinets. So right now it's shaded blue, which means I'm on A. And these are all the different things you can do inside this file cabinet. So if you wanted to, you know, like check in hardware, you could click this button here and then it opens up another window. Majority of people will be using the main. And then as we drill down further, we go into more details. Like this one here is basically treatment defaults. This, you would come here if you wanted to create a new style or vice versa edit an existing treatment or edit a, me a mechanism and that but i'll have a lesson on more details of each one of these but we're going to today start discussing just a brief summary of the so you can get yourself familiar with the switchboard bedding defaults once again there's a lot of bedding defaults as you can see they goes clear up to 23 and then preview reports. There again, different variety of reports. You can go here. And then purchase order and inventory. This is where you go when you want to add a PO to order a supply that is used within the workroom. Or you can also order hardware here if you specifically know a detailed part number. You could actually go here. You can also assign it to a job number as well. And then other is miscellaneous stuff for that we have. You can sign printers and work orders and so forth. And then you got global defaults. These are universal that used for everything that is created. Nothing changed changes. They all stay the same no matter what you're doing as far as job to job. And then you got an employee time card with different fields that do different things. And then a feature we've added is a window coverings catalog. You can actually produce a catalog, wholesale or retail. And then same thing with soft goods. We can create a catalog from everything that's database driven within Estimator. And then of course we have accounting, which basically operation manager can actually review exactly what's going on accounting as far as how much has been collected on deposit, who's requiring a deposit, and also final invoice amounts. And I'll do a separate brief lesson on that as well. So, and then to get back to the main, you just click here, and there you go. And that's a summary of the switchboard.